Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. Sticks up like a sore asshole, doesn't it? Fucking hell! Jesus! Jesus! Oh, oh fuck! Oh fuck! You right? Hey, how you doing? Uh, you, you're on our billboard. You're, you're the lawyer guy. Yeah. Better call Saul. What, what happened to your face? Oh. <laughs> I clipped the tree. So how are we all bloody doing today? The weather outside, bloody awful actually. Just dropped my van in to get MOT'd, so I haven't got my van today. My uh, Enduro is currently broken, so I sort out the back wheel. It's got a mega flat spot and it won't reseal. Yeah, it's like flat spot all day long there, isn't it? And those uh, stand rims, I don't think the actual suit in the tubes. Hence the fact they're called stands, no tubes. They're really, really shallow. I put an inner tube in there, but it's like, ooh, just on the edge. I mean, I might try it just for a laugh, see if I can actually blow the back wheel up, see if the Enduro will live another day. But uh, holy crap. I need to do a case video. Someone left a comment in my last video saying that they could give me a run for my money based on casing. You got no chance, mate. I am the case king. So yeah, I'm going through my archives trying to find the best cases. You've seen a few in the uh, intro. See, the way I look at it, if you case, at least you've uh, attempted it. Do you know what I mean? A case means you've actually attempted it. See, in most cases, I'm like the guinea pig and uh, I will try the setup first. And most times it's a brand new setup. Sometimes it's too fresh. Sometimes I kind of rush into it and uh, since kind of Madman Lewis disappeared, I mean, he was top guinea pig. He was always fucking up front, doing it first. Then he kind of vanished, so uh, I had to take over again. My poor old bloody body and that, but uh, you know, I can't really stupid ideas, so uh, I've got to take it for the team, do you know what I mean? Send it for the boys. But based on the ones that's happened on this channel, based on my experiences, I've got to pick five. I want to kind of mix of uh, mountain bike and BMX, so, uh, I've got three mountain bike ones and two BMX ones and we do the sort of countdown and the little story behind them. Number five. Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. So yeah, this is a fun one. The amount of times I've jumped the bloody stream gap in Kingscliff, even though it doesn't exist anymore, they put a bloody fence across. I mean, the actual original gap, I did case years ago when I actually first tried it. So I didn't even shake the takeoff. I just kind of bombed towards it, took off the bump, cased the other side, went over the bars. Then eventually we actually put a sort of shape to the takeoff. <laughs> and over the years, loads of people jumped it, had a good time and stuff. But once upon a time, me and Lewis decided to sort of change it up and make a gap slightly further across because the uh, bump was a little bit more aggressive. And uh, it was a shit show, to be honest. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck! I clipped the tree! Oh, fuck, fuck! Oh! I clipped the tree! Oh, fuck, fuck! I clipped the tree! So yeah, as I come in, my bar has actually clipped the tree. You can hear it, and it kind of just completely stopped me. I couldn't slow down. I thought it was going to end up in the middle of the river. Ended up across, case from the back. Didn't break myself or the bike, so I was able to do it again, but uh, yeah, that jump like took Lewis out a few times. Oh, fucking hell. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It was just one of those things that we kind of rushed into, and it was just a good sign. So in at number four, Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. It was when I cased the uh, water gap in Taunton. That's what I call it. I call it the water gap. Uh, 
Yeah, it was when I did my 10 gaps for 10K. I wanted to get a couple of BMX ones in there. And uh, I jumped that water gap four times previous on the BMX. <laughs> I really wanted to get that BMX gap in my sort of 10 gaps for 10K. The main reason I wanted to get a slow-mo with the GoPro going over it, but uh, the GoPro froze on Grace on that day. So I only got the angle with my uh, the big camera at the time. And uh, yeah, it was a proper nice case. Call it right on the corner of the slab. <laughs> Oh, that rim is literally like both sides. That is unbelievable. Oh my God. That is how you destroy a back wheel. But yeah, that was a perfect case. Call it right on a sweet spot. The fact it didn't blow out the tire. You remember I did a video based on the fact that I run two tires, so it didn't actually uh, blow the inner tube out. But uh, yeah, that rim is still in my garage and uh, it's going down to the museum soon. <laughs> Suing at number three. Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. So yeah, me and Lewis decided to go to Western Trails uh, a couple of years ago. It was Lewis's like pretty much first time going over BMX trails on a BMX and uh, he was actually killing it. But we decided to hit some of the trails that are really, really worn and uh, we didn't sort of test the jump. The takeoff had a load of carpet over it and I didn't realise there was a kind of hole in the takeoff. So as we was cruising through, I kind of pretty much just rid straight into it. And oh my God, nose case to land in, sand went up in the air. There was two angles because I had the uh, GoPro on my peg. And uh, it's lucky I didn't break my neck. If I got another angle of um, like a side shot, my face literally went straight into the bloody sand, pretty much sunk in. Luckily it was sand. And uh, I was kind of stuck upside down with my neck into the actual uh, sand and the bike flipped over. And yeah, it definitely jolted my head that day. Oh my god. Whoa! I don't know what I don't know what that is. Oh my god, it's a brick wall! Oh what's that? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god! It's like a sandcastle! Oh my god, he pricked my neck! Holy shit! <laughs> but yeah, no damage was done to the actual BMX. Just sort of, uh, you know, lost my street cred and stuff. Embarrassing. Got sand in my ears, in my pants. Got sand bloody everywhere, actually. And uh, yeah, the two angles just crap me up. I mean, the peg angle is just funny. I just disappear over the bars. And uh, yeah, I nearly broke my neck doing a stupid little jump. Western trails. So we're down to the last two. And uh, these two were hard to kind of choose between which one was worse. But uh, I've got to kind of put it in perspective of which one cause the most damage to the bike. So uh, in at number two. Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. The Canyon Gap. I mean, this sort of went over a period of sort of like two years. Well, me and Lewis first attempted it. Well, Lewis did it first, fair shout, and he uh, cased it really good. I pretty much did the exact same thing because we didn't even change the landing. Thought it'd be sound and all that. And uh, I broke my cranks on the first time that I did it and definitely sort of tweaked the forks again. Roll forward a couple years after that, and obviously me and uh, Madman Luke got redemption on it, even though I did case again. Oh, fuck. 
because uh, I didn't attach the uh, pallet kicker properly on the takeoff. The whole thing bloody moved down. That was my excuse, even though I did go towards it really slow. But uh, somehow, when I did case it on the second occasion, the bike stayed in one piece, even though you remember my forks were creaking like mad. I ended up putting a bolt through the bloody things to keep them going. Uh, yeah, we got redemption on it two years after. That's the way I look at it. Even if you case a jump really, really bad, as long as you get redemption on it at some point, it's all good. What are you doing, mate? So, uh, yeah, that goes in at number two, purely because uh, it, was a, it was a good old jump. And the fact it kind of like scaled over two years and a lot of people were thinking he's never going to go back to that gap. It's all done and dusted. Ah, fucked it over, mate, didn't I? <sighs> So yeah, in at number one. Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. I remember first finding this gap. I was out doing my kind of road bike mission, cycling up through and I kind of looked at it. I thought, oh, that'd be quite a cool gap. Didn't have the Enduro at the time. Then when I did get the Enduro, within a kind of a year, I found myself looking at that gap. And uh, yeah, the Enduro is definitely not built for uh, doing stuff like that. But I gave it a try, didn't I? And once again, rushed into it. I remember... Uh, just sculpted in the actual takeoff with my foot just so I had a sort of line to sort of take and uh, funny enough there was a time when I was ripping towards it Grace told me to stop because a bloody hay bale lorry went past well a trapped there with hay bales on the back so I just plowed straight into the side of it I said to her if a car goes past don't worry about it I can jump the car but uh, yeah it was so tall I would have just plowed into the side of it that would have been hilarious And yeah, that actually ripped the uh, steerer tube off my forks. It was creaking like mad after. So all I did was went home, got a new top cap, screwed it up, did it real tight and then jumped it again. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's kind of lucky the forks actually didn't fully snap off because they weren't even attached. The actual bar and stem could literally twist with the forks staying straight and uh, Amp Cycle Works sorted me out a new steerer tube at the time. Yeah, those pikes went to uh, the grave in the end. Well, they're actually in the garage. I think if I get a new uh, crown and steerer tube for them and give them a service, they'll probably be all right again. Because uh, my new Fox Forks, I call them new, they're kind of creaking now as well. So uh, probably fuck them up as well. I think the Enduro is slowly going to the grave. I can't see me getting a new mountain bike, to be honest. I think uh, my mountain bike days could be coming to an end. This channel is just dying and I'm dying with it, you know what I mean? But yeah, since that uh, road gap case, you know, that was literally about three years ago now. So the Enduro went through all that shit after that, after I got the forks fixed. And uh, yeah, it's still a sorry sight in my uh, garage. All you fuckers out there, you get new bikes every year and stuff. You know, I can't do that. I mean, I've got a mortgage to pay, you know. Tried the old merch thing, but no one bought anything. Well, I think I made about six sales in the end, but kind of given up with that as well. Probably shut the shop soon. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm just depressed because of the weather, to be honest. And uh, I've definitely sort of uh, got a bit of whiplash from those cases the other day up in the Quannies. Anyway, that is my top five cases. Absolute shit show. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd just, you know, reimburse you with that because uh, someone said that they could uh, give me a run for my money when it comes to casing. This channel has got a nice curse for casing. If you ever sort of uh, appear on it, you probably will case. Just going up a curb, I expect, because uh, that's how you roll. And uh, yeah, I'll go get my van at some point this afternoon. Got a cycle over and pick it up. Great weather and all that. So uh, yeah. Get out there, case and jumps, have a bloody good time, drink your wine, don't give a shit. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now. But I have bought a PlayStation 2 recently and I got Buster Move 2 and Street Fighter 2. So apart from everything else, fucking buzzing bud.